What is good everybody? Welcome back to another Money of Toys video. Today we are back with a brand new WWE Elite set review on the Walmart exclusive WWE Elite Ruthless Aggression Series 2 wave. A wave that I have been a huge advocate for, a huge supporter of, if you guys were unaware. Pushed for this line for years. Pushed for this line for years. Finally came to fruition and we've already had quite a few bangers in this line so far. Of course paying homage to the original Jack's Ruthless Aggression line. This is an era that I grew up with. Lots of my favorite wrestlers of all time are from this era. This is amazing, and I love Wave 2. I think Wave 2 is very strong. Is it better than Wave 1? Off the top of my dome, I... Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. But today, we have Booker T, Rey Mysterio, and RVD. Beautiful stuff going on right here, man. We're gonna take a look at all three of them here in the packaging. First up, we do have RVD. Not my favorite gear of all time, but a repaint of one of my favorite figures that Mattel's ever done. I'll take it all day. Rob Van Dam, Rob Van Dam there, Rob Van Dam there, Rob Van Dam there, Rob Van Dam there, and Rob Van Dam down here. So RVD is is looking clean. Still need a new head sculpt for the love of Christ. Moving on up, we do have Rey Mysterio in his white gear. Kind of a repaint of the Royal Rumble Elite in his red gear from 2006, but Rey Mysterio there and there. Got an image of him on the side and then a great image of him here. My God, look at this guy's biddies. Kind of chunky. And then the last figure in the set is going to be Booker T. And I love Booker T growing up. I love Booker T currently. Booker T's fantastic, man. We get these white jogging pants. If I have an opportunity to pick up a few of these, anytime I see this figure, I'm going to grab it just for the white pants. I think the white White pants could go on John Cena, they could go on Brock Lesnar, they could go on a bunch of different guys, so I'm definitely going to be trying to track down Booker T whenever possible. But he's looking damn good there, and I like this wave a lot, man. I can't wait to crack all these guys open. So with that being said, let's crack all three of these guys out of their packaging, find out what they're about, and see how this review goes. All right, guys, so here are all three figures out of the packaging. Booker T, Rey Mysterio, Rob Van Dam, all looking pretty quality here, of course. When you get these waves, these kind of off waves where you're getting, you know, your Survivor Series elites, Royal Rumble elites, things of that nature, typically they're going to be repaints, and we're pretty much getting three repaints here in this wave. But it's pretty genius. It's a way to get some new gears, some new attires, some new looks for some characters that we love. And that's what we got going on right here. Nonetheless, I'm just going to go through all three figures, take a look at them, get some comparisons in here. You guys know how we do with the reviews. But starting off with Booker T, I like this figure a lot. One thing that does piss me off is look how damn loose the shoulder is right here, dude. All I tried to do is like articulate the shoulder like that. And it's so stiff right there that once you bring it back down, I mean, it's pretty loose, dude. This bicep swivel is pretty loose. That really pisses me off right there. They really need to fix that, like the shoulder size on some of these figures. But it's pretty much the Bobby Lashley torso and shoulders. My Bobby Lashley didn't have an issue like that. But the white jogging pants are great. You guys can see how good it looks on the figure itself. I love these pants. I, I'll never never get sick of, you know, cloth accessories and stuff. But I do want to remove these so we can get a shot of the NWO gear. So the pants are that kind of like fake track pant kind of material. But they look really good. I like the pants a lot. Probably my favorite thing about the wave, to be honest. Not really, but I don't know. Maybe. Potentially. But here's Booker T and his NWO gear. Now, one thing I do think we'll get is we we already have X-Pac, right? We already have X-Pac from NWO from the same time period. We're getting Kevin Nash in Series 3. So Series 4 is Eric Bischoff. I forgot about Series 3 with John Cena, Shelton Benjamin, which is going to be an amazing figure. And then Kevin Nash. So Kevin Nash is going to match this figure from the same era. We're going to get X-Pac, of course. And I'd like to think we're going to get a Shawn Michaels from that same you know, with the hat and the black pants. I think that would be a figure that we could get down the line as a potential Shawn to fix in there with all these guys. But I'm all for it. Booker T looking great here. Got big knee pads on there, which sucks, but I love the boots here with the silver and the Booker T down the side. Very quality figure, man. Again, this is a repaint of the WrestleMania Elite with the white attire. I think it was his WrestleMania 19 match with Triple H. I don't know what happened to my figure like that, but I do have X-Pac over here with a head swap so we can see kind of, you know, just these two figures go together here on the shelf. Look really cool. Again, Kevin Nash will go with this set as well, and then I think we will potentially get HBK eventually. Like, I could see that totally taking place, but there is X-Pac, and I like this figure with the head swap. I think it just fits with the bandana and the tongue out. I think it looks good, but Booker T's solid. Outside of the white track pants, you also get interchangeable hands. You get your five-time hands. You get a pair of those. You also get a pair of mic holding hands, so the left five-time hand, you know, spin rooty five-time hand is in the figure right now, and then the other mic holding hand is also in the other hand. After that, we also get it pointing fingers and pointing hands, so those those. And then you also get a scratch WWE logo microphone, which is pretty cool. Now, moving on to Rey Mysterio's figure. Another long pants Rey Mysterio. We've seen quite a few already this year. I hate this head sculpt. I think this head sculpt's abysmal. I mean, we've seen this head sculpt for years, man. This is a head sculpt they've reused so many damn times. I really wish we would have gotten the Royal 
Rumble Elite head sculpt, which is much better. It's newer, but this is before he had all his tattoos. Obviously, he's got his white elbow pads in there, black wrist gauntlets, white gloves, which look good, white pants. The graphics on here look really clean, man. The silver, red, and black is a very nice touch with the cross logo. And then on the other side, you get Ray in the silver and black. Then you do have the black shoes in there. Now, a fix-up that I'd like to do is put white wrist gauntlets on here and then put some white shoes in there from one of his other elites, make a full white gear. But the figure, as you guys know, Rey Mysterio's feel immaculate in the hand. He can pose around with the best. I mean, you get the, you know, who's that jumping out the sky pose, you know, you get the good ab crunch in here, very tight. Definitely uh, doesn't feel loose and stuff like that like Booker T does in the shoulders, but this this Rey Mysterio's quality, I think you're getting a solid Rey here from the Ruthless Aggression era. And they're, they're like, there's so many Rey Mysterio elites, man. It's just truly unbelievable. But with this Rey Mysterio figure, you do get the folding chair here. So you do get a black folding chair. We've seen these quite a number of times, but you do have the little pad there. So I guess it's not one that you hit people with. This is more like a front row, first five rows of a WWE VIP experience sort of deal. And then you get the reaching out SmackDown intro hands in the figure. And then you also get fists, which we've seen 10,000 times. But I'd rather have white gloves over the black gloves because we've seen the black gloves so many times. But as far as Rey Mysterio comparisons, here's all our long pants rays that we've seen this year. Of course, the greatest hits, Elite 24 re-release, the Ruthless Aggression Series 2, the Royal Rumble Elite, and then the SummerSlam Elite from the Dominic Mysterio Build-A-Figure. So very cool seeing all these again. This is the head sculpt I wish they would have given it to us, but you guys can see these two match. So there's that. You know, I guess you could get this and repaint it. Maybe a pain in the a-hole. Don't want to do that. But they, you know, they're looking pretty quality right here. I like them. All up next to each other. Tons of rays, man. This is only for this year. Four elites. That's more than like, I would love to know what percentage of WWE elites are re-releases. You know what I mean? Like what percentage of the figures we've gotten so far have been repeats of figures or talent? I don't know. Something to think about. However, the last figure in the set is going to be Rob Van Dam, which is probably my favorite figure in the set. I don't know. Kind of debatable. I really like RVD is one of my favorites of all time, but you know, I don't I don't like the big knee pads and I don't know. He kind of feels stiff, man. I don't, I don't know. Like his legs feel a bit stiff. Like I feel like I'm about to snap him in half, which doesn't make me happy. Nonetheless, I love RVD and I'm definitely going to switch these knee pads for the love of God. But if you were counting the chase, this would be our third RVD this year. I guess he was in my top 10 from last year, so I guess it was technically within the last year we've seen three RVD elites, but we did. The chase variant got canceled, and we didn't get that guy. But we do have the Tiger Stripes gear, which is easily one of my favorite elites of all time. And then we do have, you know, here is the, the Tiger Stripes, and then we also have his first elite ever, which was the Elite 27, and this is all through the same head sculpt. So, Elite 27, 70 series later, we're still having the same head sculpt, so I'd love to see a new RVD, and hopefully we get more RVDs. I really want to see an Ultimate Edition with some cloth goods, maybe like a cloth RVD shirt, some great interchangeable hands, three interchangeable heads. That would probably be a figure that I would want men on card autographed. I think that would be badass. I would try my best to make that happen, but RVD is one of my favorites of all time, and this figure does look phenomenal. I do like it. Not better than the Tiger Stripes. I mean, Tiger Stripes is always going to be best right there. I cannot believe we still have that figure. That is a figure I waited on for Mattel forever, but if you guys want to see some of these graphics up here, I do remember. It feels like yesterday I was watching him on TV wear this gear. Same thing with the Tiger Stripes, and now here we are, but RVD in green, you do get your yin-yang symbols, and you know, going back on the back, RVD, drag. I mean, he had some of the best gears ever. I remember being upset as a kid because Jax never gave us all the different gears, and I always wanted them as a kid, so now, you know, I want Mattel to do the same thing, so this looks great. You do get your Rob Van Dam pointer thumbs right there for the, for the taunt, and yeah, man, some of the best kick pads ever. I wish it was the yellow graphic, but we'll, you know, we'll accept it. They've never given us the yellow graphic. I want Van Dam in yellow. Small letters, Van Dam in yellow right there. That's what I want for my RBDs. But outside of his pointing thumbs, you also get Mike holding hands, which we've seen multiple times, obviously, since the dawn of time. And then you get my favorite iteration of the Intercontinental Championship, the Oval IC title. Beautiful looking championship, one that I'd like to have for real. And I'm just noticing, dude, I think this is new. Have they ever had the continents on here like this? Am I tripping? I don't think they've ever done that. Have they ever had the W? There's no way they've, they've had the WWE Scratch logo and then all the different continents listed on the on the plates right there. If that's true, that would be a Mandela effect moment, but this is badass. That's awesome. I think it really makes the details stand out. Like, look at it from far away. That's sick as hell, but that is all the figures, man. I'm having a ton of fun with this wave. I can't wait for Series 3 again with John Cena, Shelton Benjamin, and Kevin Nash. Series 4, I think, is Eric Bischoff's wave, and these are just all excellent, man. This is great. If I had to rank the wave, it'd probably be in this order, left to right, first, second, third, but then again, I mean, I, I may put Booker T above the Rey Mysterio, just because we've gotten so many, but it is in the white gear, so it's kind of hard to say, but this would probably be my ranking right there. I, I, I'll submit it. Get out of here, Xbox. I'd probably submit this. RVD, Booker T, Rey Mysterio. This would be my top three, I think. 
you just it's hard to compete with RVD. I know it's a repeat head. It's not my favorite gear, but still, any RVD Elite, since we've had them so scarcely, it's going to go to the top of the list. And you know what? You can fight me in the comment section down below. But that is going to wrap up today's WWE Elite figure review. I thought my Elite 99 was going to be here yesterday, and I thought this video would have been posted yesterday, but it was not. So I do apologize for that. But it's up now, and you know, we can build a bridge and get the hell over it. But that is going to wrap up this video, man. Leave me your thoughts on the Ruthless Aggression Wave down in the comment section below. Is this a wave that you've been enjoying? Have you been kind of bland by it? Did you grow up in the Ruthless Aggression era? You know, anything late attitude era through the Ruthless Aggression era is my money zone. So any figure they put in this wave, I am going to be all in on. So that's kind of why I want like a mock set and a loose set of this of this line. But we'll have to see about that. But I'm getting the hell out of here, man. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts down in the comment section below. I'm getting out of here. See you guys next time. Have a blessed day and have a merry freaking Christmas.